Okay, this will be the outdoor range test I was promising for the Kush darts versus the Razzy shot darts and maybe even some zombie strike which work pretty well on these guns. I will not be at it that long. There's apparently a snake in my yard and I can hear him moving around right now. I need to run very quickly and do this. So, here we go. So we flip that around. Kush dart goes in. Okay, so I'll say the dart when I'm shooting it and I'll do the range. I'm going to stand away from where the snake might be. So I'll be five feet down, so I'll be doing some quick math as I shoot. Oh my gosh, negative five. All right, so first, now remember, this is an Orange Mod Work Spring Flip Fury. So see the video I've done before if you want to see it for the comparison for the feet per second. So first of all, shooting from five feet, this will be a coup start. 37 feet. I'm firing level, not up. Zombie strike dart, level. 37 feet. All right, Razzy shot dart, level. Oh my gosh, math. 57 feet. All right, these next three will be Razzy shot darts. Okay, I shot that a little up and it went 70 feet. Level, 50 feet. Level, 35 feet. So definitely carrying farther than the power would suggest. All right, now we're gonna get some zombie strike and uh, coup starts in here and I'll let you know the ranges. I'm gonna fire a little up. This is a zombie strike dart. 65 feet. That's a little up, 60 feet. A little up coup start. 55 feet, a little up. about 55 to 60 feet. All right, now I'm gonna shoot a coup start level. That was a little down, that went about 28. And zombie strike dart level, about 35. So the Razzy shop darts are carrying as far, if not farther. So while their feet per second were registering as a little slower than both the zombie strike and the coup starts on average, they are carrying as far, if not a little bit farther. Now the problem with darts, especially the Nerf Elites, is you're only really accurate from that 20 to 25 feet. I've seen people in competitive Nerf Wars, humans versus zombies, with a like 100, 120 feet per second um, strife, staring at someone right here with a gun and not pulling the trigger at 30, 35 feet. Because so many people are coming at you, if you pull the trigger at one, you miss, and they're, not, they're kind of afraid of the accuracy. But if you get within 30, 25 feet, you're pretty much tagged out with one of those guns. So while this is carrying farther, that's awesome. The feet per second still matter for trying to shoot someone before they can react at that close. I found the feet per second that's hard to react to is anything over 90 feet. And that's mainly because you're not used to seeing it because some of the old elites and old guns shoot about 50 to 70. So it's awesome this carries. Feet per second matter for accuracy up close. But if you want a dart that will carry and be as good as elites, if not a little better maybe, Razzy Shop will work. The downside is they want $15 for 30 right now. They're no longer selling in that bulk like you get the 100 from China. So, eh, I don't, still don't see the reason to get it right now if they're gonna sell them uh, two darts for a buck. That's way too much. I'd wait the six weeks for the Kush darts to get them 10 for 100 or 12 for 100. They even buy a pack of 200 for 20 bucks and just wait and then just share them with your friends. Here, I'll give you 20 darts, give me like three bucks back. So it makes it worth my time, whatever it is. But I go with Kush, Razzy Shop are pretty good. Zombie Strike are pretty good. I mean, for out of the box, they're even better than Elites, especially in some of the Zombie Strike and Clip guns. But that's the range test. Hope you enjoyed it.